Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to be watching some more Legend of Korra today. We are on episode 10 now of book three. This one is called Long Live the Queen. In the last episode, we learned a little bit about Zaheer and his crew's connection with the Red Lotus, which are a group of people that think that the White Lotus have kind of lost their way. And so they created the Red Lotus and they're trying to bring balance to the world by intermingling humans and spirits as well as destroying the world powers and bringing chaos to the world. They have Bolin and Mako and the Earth Queen has Korra and Asami. So long live the Queen. I guess we're going to be going back to Ba Sing Se and some craziness is going to happen I'm sure and I'm really excited. So thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoy Legend of Korra. You have to let me out! The Earth Queen is in danger from a group of terrorists calling themselves the Red Lotus. You're the one who sounds insane. Maybe you should listen to the Avatar. Do I have to be chained to the floor the whole way? Can't you just chain me to that railing? I mean, where am I gonna go? Well, as long as you're chained up, I guess it doesn't make a difference. Thank you, sir. Can I have some water? No water. We're also not going to bring you any rocks or fire, so don't ask. <laughs> I hoped Mako and Bolin would have shown up to save us by now. I wonder if they're okay. They're not. They're definitely not. So you guys were like locked up for 15 years, huh? I mean, what did you do with all that time? I must have renamed the constellations about a thousand times. Mostly I just made up stories about the guards. Ooh, okay, that sounds like fun. Let me try that on you guys. You were raised by an older sister. Your mustache grew in when you <laughs> Look were at 10. Mako. An unspoken attraction between you two. Two out of three. It's not bad. Mm. Stop making friends with the bad guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's just Bolin being Bolin, man. Ah, uh, so that was her plan. I was wondering. Now that's just shoddy workmanship. There's no way I can get these locks off. I need the keys. Give me five minutes, then start yelling for help. Yes, I remember these two. We'll find an acceptable home for you in prison. So, where are my airbenders? They're not yours. I'll be to tell you, once you hand the Avatar over to me, imprisoning the Avatar will cause the other nations to turn against you and demand her freedom. But if you let me take her today, no one need ever know she was here. And what do you plan to do with the Avatar? All I can say is that I have business with her. But she won't be bothering you again. I find these terms agreeable. This is the man who's trying to take you down, lady. Send these two to the dungeon. Well, that's a quick trip to the dungeon. Guard! Get in here! <sighs> nice going! So that was the plan. Now let's take control of this ship. <laughs> Oh, well, they can't fly the ship now. I think you might have been a little over aggressive yeah. with the air bending. Also, you broke the radio. <laughs> Hang on to something. Oh. I don't think they'd be surviving that. That was pretty, but I mean, okay. Can we get it flying again? It doesn't look good. I mean, even if you metal bend the propellers back into shape, we'd have to dig this whole thing out of the sand. And the controls are busted. I radioed Ba Sing Se before we went down. We just need to sit tight. We need to get out of here now. If we all work together, we might be able to get the ship up and running. This ship isn't going anywhere, and neither are you. Wait, did that sand dune just move? Sandworms? Look. What is it? I heard that since all the spirits came back, this desert has been haunted by them. Oh, right. So I guess that's my fault, too. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. We want to fix the ship, right, Cap? Mm. Let's get to work. Well, that's really going to draw the attention of whatever that thing is. We have to find a way out of here before Zaheer gets his hands on Korra. Take me with you. I haven't seen my wife and five kids in four years. Well, the first few months were great. I, I could finally get some sleep, but now I really miss them. <laughs> Olin, this is up to you. I know you can metal bend. Oh, it's time. Is it time? 
I've been trying and trying and trying, and I've never been able to do it. You've always had the ability deep down. This is your time. You can do it. Bolin! 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 Nug, tuck, nug, tuck. Here I go. Metal bending! Aww. I can't metal bend. Well, you can't. Aww. <laughs> Come on, Lynn. We need you. Oh. First, you scared the life out of me. Now you want to lick me. Here, chew on this and leave me alone. But they could help you. I found Cora's Jeep, but the kids aren't here. Meet me at the Misty Palms Oasis. How's it looking in there? I just airbent all the sand out of the engine room. She's still pretty banged up, but I think she might be able to limp out of the desert. All right! Oh! That thing is cool. Where's the other guy? Now. Oh, there he is. <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> what are we gonna do? How far are we from the edge of the desert? Too far to walk, if that's what you're thinking. Reminds me of the Flight of the Phoenix, the movie I just watched recently. We might have enough material to construct a makeshift sand sailor. It's worth a try. We'll give that sandy beast a run for his money yet. Looks like he's in a hurry. Wait here. Your Majesty, we received a distress signal. We believe the ship crashed in the Siwong Desert and the Avatar may have escaped. Send another airship to retrieve the Avatar immediately. And to rescue your other guys, right? She'll be long gone by the time they arrive. We're through chasing her. It's time to make her come to us. What has he got planned? Apologies, Your Majesty. You'll tell me where the airbenders are right now. That wasn't the deal. Seize these hoodlums and throw them in prison. Good luck with that. Gun! Get back here and lay down your life for your queen, you coward! Nah. <laughs> Nobody loves you enough to do that. Sorry, lady. You wouldn't dare attack a queen. Um, yes, I think he probably would. I don't believe in queens. Mm-hmm. He is your worst enemy right now, lady. What is the What oh he's he's sucking the air right out of her lungs. Oh, that is You think freedom is something that you can give or take on a whim. But to your people, freedom is just as I have never as seen that before. Air. And without it. There is no life. There is only darkness. <gasps> I was right. There is a new airbending technique, but I don't like it. It's like blood bending, but worse, maybe. My goodness. Attention, citizens of Ba Sing Se. Moments ago, the Earth Queen was brought down at the hands of revolutionaries, including myself. Oh, Grandma loves the Earth Queen. I think you've had enough of leaders telling you what to do. No longer will you be oppressed by tyrants. I deliver Ba Sing Se back into the hands of the people. Well, I feel like the only people that are going to be really excited about this are the people that live outside of the law. They're literally going to bring the walls down. Oh my god. Oh, maybe they are excited. I mean, she was pretty awful. We have to get out of here, Bolin. You have to metal bend us out of here. This is your time. You said before was my time. Do it. Come on, Bolin. I don't know if this is his time. But <laughs> I did it. I don't think that was you. I'm going to set you free. I have a message that I need you to take to Korra. Man, there is no queen in Ba Sing Se. I think she'll do the job. No time for a test run. Let's move. Oh, here it comes. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Sandworms. 
I love it. Ooh, and he looks so cool. He's like a shark worm thing. I think he's gone. No, I think he's gonna pop up in front of them or right under them. Ah! Ooh, that mouth! Woohoo! I like this thing. I don't like that he's trying to eat us, but. <gasps> Zuko's here! Is he? I saw a dragon, I think. Thanks, Asami. You've got a good head on your shoulders. You know, whatever the conflict between you and the queen is, I'm sure it's above my pay grade. Oh, huh, he has a hook for a hand. I I never noticed that. I guess he had his hands Captain, in his pockets the, the whole time. Too long, or is that really a dragon over there? Yeah. Zuko? Yeah. And there's Lynn and Tom Rock. Cora, you're safe. Do you remember Lord Zuko? It's good to see you again, Avatar Cora. It's good to see you, Lord Zuko. Yes, Thanks it for is. Me back at Zalfu. Uh. <laughs> Did you hear about the Earth Queen? What about her? Once again, the Earth Queen's reign has come to an abrupt and violent end. <sighs> the Red Lotus. Just like they told her. I'm afraid this is only the beginning, Dad. Yeah. So they're gonna be after Zuko, right? Because he's still head of the Fire Nation, I assume. They're going to be after Tan Rock. And they're going to be after Tenzin. They're going to be after all of our favorite people. This is getting very scary because that, um, that ability of sucking the air out of someone's lungs and then just having them suffocate, you can someone can get taken out really quickly from that and there's not much that they can do i mean maybe if you're a bender you can fight back but maybe not i mean there's there's really not much you can do without any oxygen in your in your blood it's it's just a matter of like seconds before you're you can't do anything i'm sure well, this was a good episode and I this is this is the more that we learn about Zaheer and his plans and his ideals and his strength and his powers as an airbender. Oh, so he he oh my gosh, he threw Iway into the the Lost Souls place which is a fate worse than death probably and then he just took out the Earth Queen and and he doesn't really seem to feel any guilt or regret about that. Like, he he can just so easily just take someone out. That's bad. That's bad. Interesting that we learned that Unalak was part of the Red Lotus. I like how they're tying that in. Uh, tying the antagonist or the villain from the last season to this season. And I'm just really excited to see how everything's gonna go and I can't wait till Bolin finally is able to do his metal bending and uh yeah I'm excited all right I'll see you guys next time thank you so much for being here hope you had a good time and I'll see you guys in the comments take care bye bye